Hi team, so um, I flew back from the States yesterday, so I'm jet lagged and I've got a cold and the airline, <laughs> the airline lost my luggage, actually they sent it to Tampa, so I've got no clothes, as you can see, the clothes I wore yesterday are in the wash. So uh, in many ways I feel that I can relate to the main characters in the film from earlier in the year called The Road which is based on a novel by Cormac McCarthy, which I haven't read because reading is for people who are not busy and I'm very busy at the moment and I haven't really got much time to make this video because I'm starting my new job in two hours. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's all part of the wonder of life. But anyway, The Road is, uh, is a brilliant film and I was talking to um, some, some of the homies earlier in the week about it, people who hadn't seen it and I was advising them to see it, so I'm advising you to see it as well and the reason why, okay well, I should tell you what it's about, okay oh, just please bear with me so the film is about this man and his son and they're not named in the film or in the book I think and um, they live in this post-apocalyptic future world which is like, it's the present really, there's nothing sort of science fictiony about it, it could be right now and you don't find out what the apocalypse is. It could be um, climatic or nuclear. You don't really get to find out. All you know is that the world is dying and there's no greenery, there's no, there are no non-human animals, there's no plants and the sky is all murky and grey and, um, and the world is screwed. So you've got this guy and his son and they're trekking down this road um, but uh, does it, do they say where they're going? I think they go into the, the gulf or something which is ridiculous now thinking about it. I mean, because the whole the whole film is kind of it, there's very little CGI used except for colour grading it to give it this really murky feel. But it's set in real locations, so it's set in parts of Pennsylvania that were that kind of abandoned city blocks in Pittsburgh, and uh, on places in Mount St Helens, and um, places affected by Hurricane Katrina. So places that really are screw like it's a fictitious future apocalyptic world, but it's but it's filmed in places that are genuinely screwed. In the, in the real world, they haven't had to fake it, which is really disconcerting. But I believe they are heading to the Gulf of Mexico, which is crazy in itself because that's fucking screwed now as well. But, um, so that's the premise of the film. And um, at the same time this film came out, a film came out called The Book of Eli, which has got a similar kind of idea. It's about a man going on a journey in this post-apocalyptic future. And I think that did a lot better at the box office. And, um, but I don't think, it, I haven't seen it, so I can't compare it directly. But I think it was more of like an action-y type film. Whereas The Road is much more cerebral, which is the kind of film that I, and I know you, appreciate. And um, it's got some really hardcore moments in it that freaked me the out more than any film I've seen before in my life. And also some really emotional points, just really sad moments that get me crying. But I'm in a very emotional spotlight at the moment, you know? Yeah? Okay, I don't want any sympathy. But if you want to give me some sympathy in the comments, I would appreciate that too. Um, anyway, so that's the review for today. I am going to give The Road maybe like 4.8 Arnold's. So that's fucking good for me, yeah? So you should definitely say it, and I think uh, it's really good. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. I've just showed you my whole body. Okay, um, I'll see you later. Bye. Proper review next week, I promise.